Welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to disable Outlook's security warning. Now, this tip is for the advanced user, and if you found this video, you probably were searching for disable Outlook security warning. If you've tried to do any programming with Access or Excel VBA, and you're trying to access your Outlook contacts, or you're trying to send email using VBA and the Outlook application programming library, you'll probably run into this security warning, and it's a bit annoying because if you're trying to send out emails, for example, to 10, 15 people, you have to click OK every time you want to send an email. You can't just perform an automated batch without the security warning popping up. In my Access Email Seminar, for example, we build a simple database where I can send out emails to a bunch of customers. And if I click the Send Reports button, for example, it's supposed to send an email to each of the selected students. But of course, I get this annoying Outlook security warning that pops up every time it tries to send an email, and it asks me to allow or deny the access. I have to click Allow each time to let that go out. And then, of course, the next email tries to fire, and there's the warning message again. Now, this is good. This is Outlook trying to protect us from spam bots. What's a spam bot? Well, as you know, it is possible for an Access database or an Excel spreadsheet or even a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation to send Outlook an email command, and it can send out emails to everybody in your contacts. So if you disable the security warning like I'm about to show you, it may put you at risk for one of these documents to send tons of emails from your system. So you've been warned. So how do we disable that warning message? Well, we have to go over to Outlook. Now, I'm using Outlook 2013. Honestly, I don't know if this works in older versions of Outlook. You'll have to try it if you have 2010 or 2007. We're going to go into File and then Options. The Outlook Options dialog opens up. Come down to Trust Center. Then come over to Trust Center Settings. Then Programmatic Access. And you'll see right here, it says use the following settings to determine when you want to be warned about suspicious activity. Now, these options are grayed out. Why? Because you have to run Outlook as an administrator in an elevated status in order to change this option. Your average Joe user can't make this change. So come down here and hit Cancel, and then Cancel again. Close Outlook down. Now find your Outlook shortcut wherever it may be, whether it's on your desktop or on a quick launch bar or your start menu. Right-click on it, and then come up to Run as Administrator. You have to do this for it to work. All right, we're back in Outlook. We're going to go to File, Options. Come down to Trust Center again. Then come over to Trust Center Settings. Again, find the Programmatic Access. And now notice you can change these options. Set it to Never Warn Me About Suspicious Activity, Not Recommended. Again, this is not recommended. So make sure you are very careful with what you run on this computer, preferably Keep this on a computer that doesn't have any incoming documents where people send you files. Because once you get a spam bot virus on your machine, it's, it's nasty. All right, so do that. Hit OK. Remember, Rick warned you. Hit OK again. Now, close out, look down. All right, now we're back to access. Now, start out, look back up again. All right, here it comes. All right, everything looks the same. But now watch this. I can minimize this. I'm going to open up my customer list form again. And then I'm going to hit send reports. And out go the emails. See them? There they go. It just sent two emails right to Outlook. No security warnings. So that's how you disable the security settings in Microsoft Outlook. Now, if you learn something... Check out my Access Email Seminar. I cover all kinds of different stuff in this email seminar. How to send batch emails, how to send email with Outlook, how to make attachments, how to click on a button and select an attachment from a file on your hard drive, 
how to export a report as a PDF file from the database and then import that back in as an attachment to your emails, uh, sending bulk email obviously using Outlook, sending bulk email without using Outlook. I'll show you how to connect to any SMTP server like Gmail or Yahoo or any of those or your corporate mail server. All kinds of stuff in this Access Email Seminar. It's on my website, accesslearningzone.com. I hope you learned something. And again, be careful with that setting. All right, if you're going to disable your security warnings and Outlook, just make sure you're careful what documents you open. Every Word document, every Excel spreadsheet that someone sends you could potentially have a macro in it that sends email, so be careful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up and comment on my channel. Be sure to subscribe also. I've got lots of new videos and tips and tricks. Make sure you visit my channel page. And, of course, visit my website, accesslearningzone.com.